Hi guys, this is Kim from Abundant Life Tarot and we are here doing our monthly love readings and this month for January 2018, so excited to say that, um, we are going to combine the singles and the couples um, because I found that it was just too complex for me to break it up by singles and couples as much fun as that was for me. It was too time consuming. And there's really no need for it because sometimes the readings that I would do for uh, the couples would kind of bleed into for what guidance I would give to the singles and vice versa. So um, we're going to combine it. And um, yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to say is a huge apology for last month's uh, videos because they did have poor sound quality. Um, now I have a new microphone, so hopefully the sound issues are all resolved. And what we will be now doing is monthly readings for all 12 astrological signs. And this will encompass um, the overall energies, your romance energies, your sensual sexual feelings and energies going on. Um, something that's impacting your love life for that month some romance guidance and then um, a closing card so it's going to be quite a bit of info packed into these videos so i think this format will work best for myself and for you all um, but let me know what you think um, in the comments below and so um, yeah if you decide later that you want a more in-depth, more personalized reading tailored to just you. You can also hit me um, at my uh, email or my other methods of getting in touch with me to have a private reading uh, because this reading is really just a general reading for the astrological signs. So uh, without much further along, here we go. Let's get started. Hi Pisces, this is your reading for January. Love, couples, singles, all of you. <laughs> and we are going to first look at the overall energies. Let me scoot up here. <clears throat> Sorry. We're going to look at the overall energies for the month of January for Pisces. Our Pisces friends. What do we have going on for Pisces? All right, manifest and protection. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so for manifesting for the month of January and beyond, you Pisces are in that moment right now, whether you are single or in a relationship, you are manifesting the love that you are wishing to receive and to have both whether you're in a relationship or you're not. Be careful though of what you're manifesting in terms of are you manifesting the kind of relationships you want or are you manifesting more of the same? Just be mindful of what you're putting out into the universe because of course it comes back. That is what a manifesting is about. You know, you're, what you're putting out and what, you're, what signals you're putting out into the universe will come back. If you want a loving, attentive mate, then don't keep believing that the only mates out there are ones that are going to dog you out. Because let me tell you, you're going to get what you believe. You're going to get what you, mani what you manifest. But if you are believing in the partner that you wish to have come into your world and believe, and I mean believe, believe, that will come to pass. But you can't do the half-stepping where... You want to believe, but you kind of step back because you're scared that if you believe too much, you'll be let down. No. Manifesting is an all-in job, okay? It's an all-in job, folks. And then there's an understanding as to why um, you are 
the way you are. Protection. So for protection, we have on one hand, a need to protect, right? When we think of protection, sometimes there's a need to protect our hearts as we see here. And there are other times when the protection goes into overdrive and then it becomes overprotection. Then there are times when there's under protection, right? You want adequate amount of protection of your heart. You don't want it to be so hardened that it's starting to crystallize here and harden to the point of nothing being able to get out, nothing being able to come in. More importantly, nothing being able to be coming in to you or right, for you to manifest and receive. So in the month of January, you'll be focusing in more on what what kind of partner you're manifesting, what kind of love in your life you're manifesting with your current partner if you're in a relationship. And then you need, there will be a sense of protection. Perhaps there's going to be for some of you a blast from the past who comes back and reminds you of Pisces of why you needed to be in protection mode. Maybe they're coming back and you're needing to be in protection mode while others are in, in overdrive protection mode to the point that it's manifesting blockages in your life where you're not able to receive dates or you're not able to receive the love that a particular person is trying to show you. So I love to put these cards out first because they are like the overarching theme, if you will, of the monthly reading. So we'll just kind of set those right here and let us percolate on that as we move on. Okay, so we're going to look at the overall romance energies here. The romance energies for Pisces. What are the overall energies? Any other messages about love? shields eight of pentacles and then we have ace of swords and eight of pentacles here shows this particular pentacles uh this guy is on a boat he looks like he's a cop shoe cobbler or a shoe repair person if you will and he is working getting his work on as this person I'm hoping patiently waits. And then we have the Ace of Swords. And so right off the bat, I get a sense of, you know, some Pisces, especially our single ones, are feeling like, look, I'm doing the work. I'm tink, tink, tinking away. And, I, you know, I, maybe maybe this is you, Pisces. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that I got hired the shoe cobbler to do the work, do the work, do the work. But ain't nothing really happening. When are my ships going to come in? See, if you look back there. When are they going to come in? When is my mate going to come? When am I going to manifest that love? Well, you have to have a moment to just recognize that as long as you keep feeling the essence of lack, feeling the essence of, are we there yet? It, when you have that that manifests more of that sensation. You're going to have to change that sensation and just say, you know what, I'm doing the work and trust that everything is unfolding the way it needs to unfold and enjoy the boat ride in the process. And then for our coupled up Pisces, you're doing the work. You got somebody kind of like, oh, are you doing the work? It, I get a sense for our coupled up ones that sometimes you feel like you are the one that's doing all the work in the relationship. The remote, the 
the heavy emotional lifting, if you will, the being of the support system for your partner. And you're wondering if it's going to be reciprocated at some point, uh, while others of you are being the ones in the position of, you know, your partner may feel like that towards you, Pisces. And so, you know, what I'm encouraged by with this is the Ace of Swords. So for most of you, if not all of you, you all will have a, br a mental breakthrough for January in terms of everything, how you feel about love. You'll, it'll finally click the art of manifesting in love. It'll finally make sense to you. Somebody will say something to you and it will click and you will get it and it will be like, oh, okay, it's not really work that I'm doing when I'm, you know, going to counseling and I'm working on my past, um, you know, issues, so to speak, or maybe I'm doing a lot of journaling and, and I'm also writing out what kind of partner I want and I'm going out to these dating events and blah, blah, blah. Okay. It isn't for not, I'm, I'm having fun along the way. It's just, yeah, I'm doing the work right now, but in the end, I trust and believe that my partner is there. They're there. We just have not met, you know, physically met yet, but they're, they're there. You will have a mental breakthrough over that, um, um, some clarity around the situation, clarity around your love life. For a couple of ones, you'll have clarity around the situation and realize, wow, I can voice my concerns to my partner. We can pr bring more balance into our ship, into our life, um, and I can voice what I need and manifest the change that I want for my partner. I can move away a, a little bit from protection mode and stop going into default mode with my partner, the default mode being, I mean, you can go into default mode, but check which default mode are you going into? Are you going into a default mode where you're constantly, oh, they're always letting me down. They're never emotionally there for me. You know, they don't hold up their end of the bargain in the relationship. If you continue singing that song about your partner, you will manifest more of that into your existence. And then there will be a need, a vicious cycle or a need to protect your heart. And it'll go like this around and around. This month though, Pisces in January, you will have a breakthrough and it will click for you that you're like, I can break this cycle. I can now manifest the partner that I want right here, right now. Just by changing my perception, my perspective, my belief around this situation. It's not lying to myself. It's looking at something from a different angle. Okay. It's going to be very important for you if you wish to manifest a bigger, bolder love couple that Pisces. If you want to manifest a new love relationship. And you can have the beginnings of a new relationship. The ace tells us that. But you're going to have to allow that breakthrough to come through. You're going to have to have that, that moment where it clicks for you. Okay. Let's take a look at what will be affecting, affecting Pisces and affecting their love life for January. What will be coming up? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Hobbies. And take the next step now. Hobbies. Okay. So remember I was talking about earlier about, you know, you got to get out there, Pisces. You got to get out there. Have some fun. Do tap into your interests. If you have hobbies and they've kind of died down because, you know, maybe you're in, you're in a buddy new relationship, I need for you to put that buddy new relationship on hold and get back to working on your hobbies. Bottom line is we are happy, content people when we are pursuing our passions. Passions bud and start from hobbies. Hobbies are a breeding ground for new relationships to grow and blossom. 
a partner will love a well-rounded partner so who wants a dud for a partner who don't have any hobbies or interests i certainly don't i need my mate to have some interest and not be looking to me to be the source of their happiness same thing for you pisces be the partner you wish to manifest to have if you're busy and it's difficult to have hobbies have one hobby that you can carve out some time for but it's important to cultivate that time cultivate that hobby play around with different interests until you find what works for you i can't emphasize that enough that will help you manifest the life you want and help manifest the love you want both in whether you're in a relationship or not i would also venture to say is equally important if probably not more important for coupled up pisces to maintain their outside hobbies because it's important for you to have your own sense of identity your own sense of self in a relationship so this is a good advice for the single pisces who are now kind of starting a budding new relationship with a new person take this advice please continue to have outside interests yes you will go through a serious honeymoon period with your partner in the coming months ahead which is wonderful we love that however what is also important is your sense of self and your sense of identity to yourself keep that super uber duper important sorry it just is pet peeve of mine because I know it takes a hell of work to keep those hobbies going, but it's just so important. Take the next step now. Take the next step now. Well, let's just look at the guy on that one, shall we? Let's see. I get what it's saying because it's saying, you know, with that breakthrough, you can take the next step now. Manifesting yes is what there is one part taking action steps one part then allowing and it's this dance right that you're having with spirit and with the universe one part in you know you take a step then the next part universe takes is usually a very grand step towards you and you receive that step right that's the beauty of manifesting and um yeah so let's take a look at the book says if you feel stalled or stuck this card is offering a solution it's time to take action even a small step in the direction of your vision will help you feel a sense of progress and hope you already know what the next step is as your heart is leading you there imagine what you would do if you had unlimited time finances and energy this is your answer as you step into the world of the unlimited your resources come to you exactly as you need them provided that you listen to and follow your inner wisdom. Remember that you will never be asked to do anything that could harm you or a loved one, as your divine guidance is a conversation of love. I love that. Additional meanings. Take a leap of faith. Break your goals down into baby steps. Focus on today instead of looking too far down the road. And that's super important um, in love, right? Take the baby steps today. You know, nobody's asking you to go off and find that mate, marry that mate, and then have it all done within six months. No, you're going to take baby steps there. And you're going to applaud yourself as you accomplish, you know, goals or milestones. So, again, manifesting is about the cultivating of our interests and taking steps to, you know, to do that. You got to do that. Some of us are going to be guided to actually, you know, some, you know, to initiate um, some conversations with a new person in our life. And we're going to finally have the courage to do so. If that's exciting. You're going to take that next step to manifest the love you want. Maybe in the past you hid and, you know, and but now you're open to receiving love so you're going to just even even taking a step is as simple as making a decision to set an intention that you'll allow more love into your life okay all right so let us move on to the sensual sexual energies and guidance 
for Pisces for the month of January. Okay. I'm going to reshuffle these because that one came out in the last reading. I just want to make sure that that's not just part of the last reading. If it comes out again, then I know it's not an accident. We want some sensual sexual guidance for our Pisces folk. Nice. Okay. Wow. All right, so we have Seven of Cups and the Sun. And we're just a reminder, this is dealing with the sexual, sensual energies of the month. Some of you Pisces are going to be like, gosh, I, oh, this is like for our single folk. I have too many options to really pick from. I'm kind of getting a little like... Um, a little overwhelmed by the choices and it's starting to be where I just don't even want to make a damn choice at all. But there is a need to, to take, a, you know, especially if you are trying to get in a relationship, maybe some of you Pisces out there are okay with kind of floating like this fish and kind of trying to figure out whom I'm going to be with. But if you're not, it's time to maybe settle down, follow your intuition, and take a chance on a particular partner. For our coupled up ones, you know, sometimes it's just like, wow, um, I've got too many things going on up in the air that it makes it difficult to be able to have a sexual relationship with my partner at this time. It's understood. When you have children, that happens. When you have careers, it happens. But again, you're going to have to make take the time to make sure your emotional and your, your physical connection with your partner is sustained. And um, yeah, some of you will kind of feel like maybe even looking outside of the relationship. For those who are in the relationship or in a committed relationship, like, what other options are out there for me? Is this person who I'm currently with now the one for me? Are they providing everything emotionally that I need? And so you'll be doing some soul searching in the month of January. Ultimately, though, I get the feeling that you're going to decide to be, not only be with the current partner you are, but you guys are going to get the sun card. You're going to leap into love with each other. You're gonna, it's going to be nothing but radiant love, radiant love making. Once you commit and once you say, okay, this the person that I'm with is the one for me, and I'm gonna just enjoy this person, and we're gonna enjoy each other, and we're gonna connect and vibe in a very powerful way. And I see this for like the mid to the late part of January. And then for our single Pisces folk, I see, you know, this time period, also the mid to late January point where, you know, some of you will actually be meeting up with someone and actually connecting, vibing with them, having that sexual, sensual chemistry with them, which is exciting and you'll be going off into February nice and strong with this particular person. For those who don't have maybe a, a new person in the fold, this bodes well for you that you will manifest a new person to start dating. And so that is an exciting time. And this new person is going to bring out the radiance in you. So it'll be someone who is compatible. Now, is that to say that you guys will ride off into the sunset like these folks? I don't know. That remains to be seen. There is such thing as free will, after all. But I get a sense that this person would be compatible with you, would bring out the best in you, which is awesome. Okay. All right. Let's move along to... Let's move along to the love guidance. 
Love guidance from the Romance Angels. This was from the Sensual Wicca Tarot. What love guidance do you have for Pisces? Okay, let me free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And I'm going to actually, for both of these cards, read from the guidebook. Hmm. It's time to take back control of your life. Like the unicorn in the image on this card, you may be feeling trapped. Perhaps you've relinquished control to someone else, or maybe you feel smothered in your career or relationship. As you tune into yourself, you'll sense the specific areas where this message applies to you. You can even ask yourself, in what ways do I feel limited or constrained? Trust the answers you receive. This card comes to you from the Romance Angels because they've heard your call for great love. To experience passion, though, you must first allow yourself to feel deep emotions. In doing so, you may come up against areas of your life where you harbor discontent. Simply by acknowledging these areas, you bring light to the situation and allow room for the angels to help you. As you commit to taking back control of your life, your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken. This leads to a greater capacity to love yourself, your partner, and your experiences. And that's what we were talking about. Be careful what you're manifesting, okay? Free yourself from that vicious cycle of manifesting more of what you don't want in your relationship, more of what you don't want in date buddies, more of what do you don't want in your love life. No more of that. This year, 2018, declare, claim that you want a more power to come from a more empowered place in your love life. Let's see. Deception. This card is a loving nudge for you to be aware of deception within a relationship. This could involve something mild, such as a run of the mill politeness, where your partner is afraid of offending you by sharing true feelings. Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask because you aren't disclosing something to your partner. Deep down, you know what this card pertains to. And again, remember I was mentioning to you about protection and maybe there may be sometimes a need for protection. Sometimes there's overprotection, there's underprotection. I believe that the deception card is speaking to the folks who need to protect at this point. Okay. The romance angels are trying to protect your heart. Protection. <laughs> Please say this invocation either silently or aloud. Romance angels, or you could say God, spirit, etc. I ask that you give me very clear guidance that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about the situation to my conscious awareness. Then... Notice and trust the signs that follow. This card is also a reminder to you about the importance of being genuine with your partner. Although discussing your true feelings may be uncomfortable, it will improve your relationship on many levels. Be careful where you're wearing masks coupled up, folk. Be careful where you're wearing masks in your relationship because sometimes... Even in long-term relationships, we start to get comfortable wearing different kind of masks for our partner. And then over time, we're not really operating from our authentic selves. Be you, let you hang out. Uh, my husband's not really into tarot, but I am. I'm being me. I'm letting me hang out. That's my authentic self. I, take, I took off the mask some time ago. It's like, this is who I am. Be your authentic self. And, you know... That's what you do. That's what you need to do for those who are in a relationship. Because that is a form. When we start to hold back because we don't want our mother-in-law to think a certain way about us. Or we don't want our partner to feel this certain way or that way. And we're holding back. That is a certain level of deception. And we need to be mindful of that. Um, we all do. You know, 
all of us could benefit from that advice, honestly. Okay, let's look at the Heal Yourself reading cards. Where can we get some healing? How can we get some healing? Spirit, let us know for our Pisces friends. Please give us a healing card that we can look at. Okay, that one also very well could be the message, but that one came up in another reading I did today just before this one. So the Aquarian reading. So I want to just make sure. And of course, if that one did, jumped over again, then I know that it's meant for you. So let's see what we got. Three, two, dreams. So, Pisces, you are being called to pay attention to what you're trying to manifest and following your dreams okay because we don't want you to be in that cycle of manifesting the need to be in overdrive protection mode all the time we want you to manifest a true love where you feel safe and secure and just loved so you're gonna have to get clear with yourself and with the universe and it's really just as simple as just saying declarative statements posting up a firm affirmations on your mirror in your bathroom and mulling over them every day. You know what I'm saying? It does not take a lot to manifest what you want. I think a lot of people think it does, but it really doesn't. It really is just simply a decision to be made and some action steps. And you would want to, because we didn't come to this life just to be passively just sitting there having life handed to us. We, some of us did, and some of us have that manifestation. But many of us came here to do a little bit more work because we want to. Dreams. I'm going to read from the guidebook. Pay attention to your dreams. They hold lots of significant insights for you at present. And they're talking also about literal nighttime dreams as well as they're going to talk in this book about, um, you know, dreams that you wish to come true. Your dreams may provide you with important details about your current health issues or a creative idea you need to take action to make your desires manifest. Dreams can also give you clues about what is challenging you emotionally. Sometimes your loved ones who have passed over or people who have lost touch with who you've lost touch with connect to you while you sleep and offer valuable messages that can give you peace of mind or the strength to persist through a challenging situation. Take note of both the dark and the light aspects of your dreams. In particular, pay attention to any recurring dreams as they often have significant meaning or wisdom that can help you. So again, get clear on what it is you're trying to manifest. Write it down, put it in a vision board. Um, look, if you're gonna put, write it down or put it on vision boards, periodically look at it. And then take those little baby action steps to get there. Go off a of divine inspiration. And especially when you're trying to manifest love, you're going to have to to do that. I mean, and again, you can continue to haphazardly manifest so-so relationships. Or you can just go ahead and manifest the next powerful, most soul-stirring relationship at your next turn. It's your pick. It really is that simple. I, I tell you, and I'm not saying that to be like flipping or whatever. I'm saying it because I've been studying manifestation and law of attraction for a long time now. I have another blog called AbundantLifeInitiative.com that is devoted just to my passion about law of attraction and, man and how to manifest your life of your dreams just by living it every day. And I encourage you all to check it out. I do have the link uh, below. And, you know, just content that I put out over the years. Just my heart stirrings. But, um, yeah. Something I've studied. All right, Spirit. Give us um, some words of wisdom or some... <laughs> 
Give me words of wisdom based on the earthbound oracle as I shuffle these. Okay, labor. <laughs> labor. You've got the little honeycomb, little bee. Pretty. Yep, again, take that next step now, as this card says. Hobbies, thinking about your dreams, you know, doing the work. And again, it's, you know, comes as confirmation, if you will. Comes as confirmation that you're doing the work, continue to do the work. Some of you, it's a call to labor. It's a call to action. It's a call to, in your manifestation step, Again, you either have the allowing or you have the action, the yin, the yang, the yin, the yang, as it does like this, right? And right now, spirit is telling you through the cards and through me to you that for love, you're going to have to take some action steps. Now you're going to have to do the work, the labor, the work. Okay. You're not. Yes, you can be in a place of allowing. You always should kind of soften yourself to be that way. Maybe do some quick five minute, five, ten minute meditations to start practicing on how you get still so you can hear those words of wisdom from the spirit. But right now, it's about doing the action steps. What do you call to intuitively do next? And then do it. Do it. Take the next step now as this set, as this card advised. And then. We're going to close with a white rabbit oracle. We're going to close with some wisdom for, for Pisces. Yeah, right. Any other messages? If not, we'll just work with that. All right. Secrets. Some things are going to be revealed. Like we said, some deceptions are going to come to light, be discussed between you and your partner. Some decisions are going to be made. Some will be leaving the relationship. Others will be strengthened by the, the secrets coming to light. And then harmony. For the month of January, you will, Pisces, yes, things are kind of, you know, not so clear, but overall you're going to have an overarching sense of harmony, which is good because that tells me that what you're manifesting is going to be something harmonious to you. So after you do the work in January, you will manifest the love that you are so trying to do, okay? I'm going to just read quickly from the little guidebook for the white rabbit because I just want to hit everything before I let you go. Secrets. Something you're not seeing. Okay. And you're going to have a breakthrough over it. Something you're hiding. We talked about that. The deception card. Stirring up the past. Need for something to come to light. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. And then harmony. Let's see what harmony says. Okay, that's on this page. Things finally falling into place. End of a struggle. A decision made. Or need to seek harmony and peace. And like I said, there will be decisions made after secrets or deceptions are revealed in the month of January from some Pisces. While others, this is just speaking to, especially our single ones, the secrets of love and life and manifesting, finally clicking for you. You're going to have that breakthrough that you've been needing in order to get you to that, to that love that you're trying to get to. And then while for the couples who have things come about, there will be a harmony that happens. It either could be a harmony from you leaving, breaking up the partnership between you and your partner, or you guys becoming closer as the deception is uh, dissolved. So it'll be a very interesting January. 
And I thank you so much for watching, Pisces. I wish you a very happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, much love, many blessings, and bye.